Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats, whose real name is Kasim Daoud Dean, first crossed paths as teenagers in New York City. At the time, Alicia Keys was just 14 years old and Beats was 16. However, their first meeting didn't spark any romantic interest, as Alicia found herself uninterested in Beats' flashy lifestyle and the scene he was associated with. She only saw him as a proud and pompous man. But surprisingly, in 2008, Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats collaborated on a music project, and during this time, Keys began to see Beats in a different light. Beyond the proud surface, she discovered his depth and awareness of global events and their conversations led to a gradual shift in her perception of him. And by the fall of 2008, Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats officially started dating. Now don't conclude that this was a perfect sweet love story because it wasn't one, because in fact Swizz Beats had been married to Mashonda Tefrere since 2004, long before he rekindled things with Alicia. Unfortunately, their marriage faced challenges, including infidelity. Swizz Beats fathered a child named Nasir with another woman during their marriage. By June 2008, they had been separated for nine or ten months, and their divorce was finalized in May 2010, citing irreconcilable differences. Tefrere had publicly accused Alicia Keys of breaking up her family, but both Keys and Beats denied the accusation. Amidst the controversy, Beats proposed to Alicia Keys on her birthday. In May 2010, after nearly two years of dating, Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats announced their engagement. While Swizz's happiness with Alicia was beginning, his ex-wife Tefrere was going through it all because, by June 2008, they had been separated for nine or ten months and their divorce was finalized in May 2010, citing irreconcilable differences. Around the same time, Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats exchanged vows sealing their love on their wedding day in the same 2010. The musicians tied the knot during an intimate ceremony overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. And at this time, Ariana Keys, sorry Alicia Keys, was pregnant with her and Beats's first child when they said I do on their wedding. And by October 2010, the couple welcomed their first son, Egypt. I can't even begin to imagine the hell Beats' ex-wife, Mashonda Tefrere, went through in the hands of Alicia Keys and her then-husband Swizz Beats. Alicia and Beats are now proud parents to two sons, namely, Egypt and Genesis, and apparently Alicia Keys embraces her role as a stepmother to Beats' children from previous relationships, which are Kasim, KJ Jr., Prince Nasir, and Nicole. Well, it's Alicia Keys, so she must be a cool stepmom to have. So yes, Swizz Beats did leave his ex-wife for Alicia Keys, but sometimes relationships are complicated and individual circumstances vary. Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats' love story is a testament to second chances, growth, and the power of connection to some people, but to others. It's the story of a married man who left his wife and kid for another woman, and the story of a woman who broke another man's home, but that in itself can be proven to be a one-sided story title. Please leave a comment on what you think of Alicia Keys and her husband and subscribe to my channel for more celebrity facts and gossip.